welcome back to We Will Wonderfuls and in this tutorial we're going to be showing you how to sew on the bunny's ears. In the last tutorial we left you sewing on the second arm so now bunny has his arms. It's looking more like a bunny now as well. <laughs> so if you read the instructions it tells you where to position the ears. We are going to be pinning them on and then sewing. So what we're going to do is from the instructions we're putting them at the back of the head so what we do is just pin get right ahead and pin one in place and then see what it looks like because we can always alter it until it's sewn on so i want to sew on that base bit at the bottom so hang on. um right so we're going to go for the back toward the back of the head and they need to be a little bit apart So let's just go ahead and pin that one here. Put the pins in. And then we'll put the other ear here. I think I've put that one a bit too far back, so I'm going to replace that one. So let's pop that ear there. And then we can soon see what it looks like before we decide whether we need to move them. So you want a few, four or five stitches in between them. The stitch is a V. So that's just to give you a rough idea, but if you want to play around with the ears and find a different position, that's um, completely up to you. We're just here to, to guide you where we placed ours. So if you want to get one exactly the same, you can do that. But certainly use your own creativity for where you want those. So we're going to put them at the back of the head. So one, two, three, four. That's sort of a good four stitches apart and we'll see how it looks. look good now we're looking from the top as well we want to make sure those ears are level so we're looking to see if they are on a similar row we don't want one back here and one one further forward so they look quite level we want to make sure they're aesthetically pleasing so they want to be a similar distance from the side of the head so you can put them close together, further apart, but you just want them to be pleasing. When you look at your bunny, you want to look and think, look at him, he looks cute. It's worth taking your time because the ears do give a lot of the character to your bunny. So are we happy with it? Just have another look. Let me stand him up as well. Look at him from different angles. Yep, quite pleased with those ears. So we're going to start sewing one on. I'm going to do similar, just gently sewing all the way around. But again, making sure you go around twice if it's for a young child or you want to make sure it's extra secure. So let's zoom in a little bit so we can see a little bit closer up. So we're going to go all the way around the edge of the ear, sewing it onto the head. So we're going to do a little stitch, a stitch wide on the head, and then a stitch of a similar size on the ear. So a little bit more fiddly the ears. Just use a finger to help hold it in place. Once we've got a good few stitches and we're part of the way around, you will find it becomes easier because it's partly sewn on. So we've got a little stitch there. Pull it firmly. And that stitch there. We're just going to go all the way around. A good trick is to maybe not fasten it off until you've had a look at it again because then it's far easier to pull your thread out and start again if you haven't already loot tied up your end and fastened it off so we're just gently going all the way around sewing the ear on oops pop extra pins in if you want it held a bit more securely so we've come out here so we're going to go Stitch along there. So just gently doing it with small, neat stitches. See how it's coming on. Oh yeah, look at that, lovely. Little ears coming on. So I'm going to take those pins out now. It gives a better idea of the shape without the pins in place. So 
Let's put at least about 10 or 20 stitches in, but the small children are quite rough, so I'd definitely do another go around. Or if there's any chance a child might play with it. So all the way around the front again, look. Feels pretty secure. There's a little bit of stuff in there. We can either just pull it out or just get our needle and push it back inside, whichever. It's fine. So I'll do that and we'll just get another stitch or two to hold that in place. So again, we're going past where we started just to make sure it's extra secure. So let's have a look at our look at little ear. looking very sweet so I'm going to go ahead and fasten that off so I'm going to go in the hole we came out of come back out somewhere else and the same again in and out and then pull and snip I love these embroidery scissors they're really sharp if you like the scissors we do we do have the scissors for a few pound on our website as well we have little tiny silver ones um, and we also sometimes get stock of these bigger rose gold ones in um a little bit harder to get hold of but pop and get some if you haven't got any uh, nice sharp scissors right so that's one ear so what we're going to do is check we're still happy with the positioning on ear two and if we are then we're going to carry on and do the second ear in exactly the same way until your other ear is sewn on and then in the next tutorial we are going to be looking at sewing on the tail and also the bow as well and then lastly we'll be doing the eyes um so join us for the next video